Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Uh, when you drive around the lower mainland, Richmond, Vancouver, uh, I know people will oftentimes see a, a building under scaffolding with a large green tarp over it. If you've been living in Vancouver for the last 10 or 15 years, we've seen plenty of those. Now, a lot of them, of course, were leaky condos. We had a big epidemic here for quite a while, uh, where a lot of these condos built between 1986 and 2001 turned out to be leakers. But um, I had a situation just recently that, uh, and that's why I've decided to blog about it. I had a listing in, in Steveston North, uh, in West Richmond here, uh, a couple months ago. And uh, this building was a 42-year-old, three-story wood frame. Uh, that happened to be undergoing major remedial work. It was under scaffolding and a large tarp. Now, I ended up getting an offer on it uh, uh, within a few weeks, and uh, it was a subject, uh, so it had subjects in it, uh, including the financing clause. And uh, so naturally, uh, before they could remove subjects, the bank called me, or the appraiser called me, to come out and do an appraisal of the unit uh, before they uh, granted the mortgage. Now, uh, I gave them the address of, of the building, and this appraiser had done, usually they specialize in Richmond or Vancouver, so he knew Richmond quite well. I gave him the address, and, uh, and he said to me on the phone, oh, uh, that's the leaker down at the end of this street with the tarp. And I had to tell him that, uh, yes, it is under a tarp and scaffolding, but it's not a leaky condo. And a lot of people uh, need to realize that sometimes it, the buildings that are under green tarp and under scaffolding have nothing to do with leaky condos. And this building was like that. It was just simply wear and tear. It was worn out. It's a 42-year-old complex, and uh, they had to replace things. Uh, in this situation, they were replacing all the siding, the balconies, the windows, and the roof. Uh, but it wasn't a leaky condo, and I wanted to make sure the appraiser uh, was aware of that. And I blogged about this about a year ago, how sometimes that buildings have been had major remedial work can be pretty good buying opportunities. In this particular case, unfortunately the owner of this unit had to shell out $40,000 as a special levy to get all this work done. Now that's fairly unusual. In most cases with these older complexes, they'll usually do it in stages. Um, they'll usually say, well let's vote on this year to replace the balconies for six or seven thousand dollars. Then a couple years later we'll do the, the siding and then after that we'll do the, the uh, windows. So they'll do it in stages. In this particular case they kind of delayed it for probably three or four years this was bandied about and then they decided let's just approve the whole thing and get it done in one shot. Now there is advantages to doing that in that you don't have the scaffolding up continuously over a two or three year period. Um, you, there is some economies of scale there and you can save some money by getting it all done in one shot. But on the downside, $40,000 is an awful lot of money to come up uh, in one shot. Anyways, they did. It's all going to be done and uh, it's going to look like a brand new building when it's all finished later this fall. But the funny thing is, is that a lot of times these buildings that have had this major remedial work aren't selling for much more than the building down the street that's the same age that hasn't had the work done. And it's only a matter of time. Things wear out. Roofs have only got 25 or 30 years on them. Siding is only good for 25 to 35 years. Balconies and windows have got a certain life expectancy on them. And that's why these depreciation reports are coming out now are going to start bringing that to the forefront. So a lot of times, targeting buildings that have had major remedial work can be a pretty good buy because the other buildings in the surrounding area are going to need to get this work done anyways. Now, leaky condos, as I say, a lot of them were built between 86 and 2001. That was kind of the danger zone there. Some before, a little bit after, but uh, uh, this particular uh, complex was built in 72. It was well built, uh, construction was good, but hey, things just wear out. So when you see the scaffolding, it doesn't always mean that it's a leaker. It just means sometimes that they decided to finally bite the bullet and fix all the stuff that's just simply worn out. Anyways, I'm Owen Bigland. As always, thanks for watching. You can always follow me on Twitter now, at Owen Bigland, uh, or uh, follow me on YouTube as well. Uh, it's at YouTube slash Owen Bigland. Thanks for watching. See you next time.